Yo guys, what's up? It's Isaac from the GTE Event Group, also, uh, you know, captured in Willow and Water. And today I'm going to bring someone in who is probably going to start working with our company. And I'm going to kind of chat with him and talk with him in regards to kind of what to expect when working with me, I guess you will. I mean, the company has the way that it works, but, uh, you know, I am not easy to work for. I'm fun to work for. And actually, let me take that back. I am easy to work for. It just takes like-minded individuals uh, to be around me. People who want to create success, cr people who want to create amazing and awesome things. So anyways, I'm gonna bring him in right now and I just kind of want to give you guys a heads up in regards to what you're about to see and witness. So let me go get him. What's up, Nate? How you doing? Pretty good, man. Pretty good. Have a seat. Make yourself comfortable. Yeah. Okay, oh, get you some drink. Uh, no, I actually got water. Right there. I'm good. Thank you. Though. Awesome, awesome. Let me get some drink real quick. I appreciate you coming in, man. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, what did Chris tell you? So, well, he was actually talking to the client, so I just sat down and just waited for him. He said he was going to give me some files to like edit and stuff like that. and. That was it. Got it. But what did he tell you about um, being here? It, besides the files, like, like. Okay. Did, did he tell you about like what the future could be like, possibly? So not not so much about. He, I mean, he's always hinted at the fact like that, uh, like that I could be like doing more stuff with the company. He's been like trying to throw me like more and more stuff, but come in to um, just to see how we work or how I work with everyone and like and like talk to me like through a couple of edits and stuff like that. Cool. Yeah. All right, so check this out, Nate. The reason why I wanted to talk to you personally is because, you know, I mean, I want people to understand my mindset. Let me take this thing off, do not disturb. I want people to understand my mindset. And what I mean by that is, man, um, you know, anyone that works here, I want them to be here because they want to be here. Yeah. Because they, they have the passion to create phenomenal stuff. Yeah. And from what little you've shown us, mm -hmm. you've shown us that you have great skill, you do a great job, and there's definitely room for you to become even greater. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, is I want to know, do you want it? Yeah. And are you willing to put in the work, the time, the energy it's going to take to be successful? And I'll give you an example of what I mean, man. You know, I can tell someone like, hey, listen, uh, I need you to work uh, uh, to 5 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, maybe another file gets dropped in your lap, and, and, and we might need it done. Mm -hmm. And am I, am I looking at individuals like, oh, I'm 5 o'clock, it's time yeah. for me to roll? Or do I have someone that says, you know, Isaac, you know, I mean, I can squeeze in another hour. I can, I can make this happen. Well, let, let's knock this out. You know, I'm looking for someone who has the desire to put the company first. And in return, what's going to happen is the company will pay you back, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Yeah, you know, yeah. I mean... I, I want everyone that is a part of, or associated with my team to truly be an asset. Mm. If I have someone here just here to do work and collect a paycheck, truly, yeah, it, it's not not for me. Mm. You know, and I've had that issue in the past with certain individuals. So Nathan, I, I wanted to bring you here because I wanted you to understand that 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 meant that is what I'm looking for. And long term, you know, I know that you're young, mm -hmm. but I mean, I I don't know if without mentioning any, any names, but if you knew the salary that we were paying mm -hmm. a particular individual, did he ever express that to you? Uh, I've, not not in depth, but like I've heard I've heard numbers, but like, I mean, I- So you weren't, you weren't too sure? Yeah, yeah, not too sure. I gotta tell you, someone starting out with this company, making that type of salary, like right off the bat, mm -hmm. it's kind of unheard of in mm -hmm. our industry, you know? And, well, I want to make sure that the next individual that I give that opportunity to doesn't blow it mm -hmm. and, and doesn't, you know, let us down, you know. So, I mean, you, you do have an opportunity presented in front of you. And, you know, realistically, I will be watching mm -hmm. from afar, but mainly to see what your work ethic is like. Yeah. You know, Chris has told me that you have great work ethic, which is great. Uh, I want to make sure that the work ethic, you know, the, your great work ethic is, um, what is the word, um, uh, uh, reliable, consistent, mm -hmm. you know, that type of thing. So, and I mean, I gotta tell you, 
And the other thing that I really don't want to do is I don't want to babysit. Yeah. If we give you a project to work on, you know, I don't want to have myself or Chris or anyone else have to go back to your project and like say, bro, look at this shot. Or yeah. why did the audio dip here? Like, uh -huh. it's, you know, if we had to go back and like babysit the project, mm -hmm. not only did you waste your time, but you also r r wasted the time of the individual that has to go back and look at your project. And then you had to go back and do the, you kind of see how many yeah, man yeah, hours yeah. are gone. Uh -huh. So we really want someone that's gonna be efficient and do the job well the first time. Yeah. I realize mistakes are gonna happen, mm -hmm. which is great. But there's a difference between mistakes happening and just, learning you, from them. no, not learning from them, but like mistakes, there's a difference between you making a mistake and you really like, eh, it's fine. Like, yeah. you know, we don't produce crap. Mm -hmm. And because we don't produce crap, I don't put out crap. I don't yeah. give away crap, you know. I produce phenomenal products mm -hmm. for, for a clientele. And I want to make sure that that the work that you do, you always give it your best. Sure. Can I count on you for that? 100%. Yeah? yeah? Mm -hmm. Cool. Because there is an opportunity here. Okay. I think what we're going to do, um, I think Chris is going to talk to you about this, but we are going to put you on an hourly wage. Okay. And I'm not joking when I say it can grow to something pretty dope. You know, again, not mentioning any names, but, you know, we brought that individual pretty much every time we traveled. Mm -hmm. How would you like to travel? Nah, yeah. 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 Cool. And, and, and film us uh, while we're doing dope shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, so really, that's what that's what's on the horizon for the next individual that we bring in the camera. And so not only will we be doing editing, but it might be like, yo, Nate, dude, pack your bags, we're going to Napa. Yeah. You know, <laughs> we're going down to the beach for the weekend. Yeah. You know, and and um, is that something that? you are willing to do and you want to do yeah i think i think everything that i've done here is already like super fun so i think adding on more to it just is only for the better yeah cool deal awesome man well i just want to make sure that me and you are on the same page yeah you know i i want excellence all the time i realize mistakes will happen and occur and you know, i'm not going to beat you up over them mm -hmm. but there's a difference between making mistakes and just be naive mm -hmm. you know and and being naive and having to go back and correct mistakes is a waste of time. Yeah. And time is something that you never want to waste. Mm -hmm. So and, uh, other than that, Nate, that's pretty much all I got for you. You know, okay. I'm going to maybe step up your uh, your apparel a little bit, you know. Okay. And I mean, the reason why we're in a professional environment, yeah. you know, we'll get you some captured shirts or captured yeah, hats. Yeah, so yeah. if you want to stay like that, it's cool, but represent the brand and stuff okay. like that. You have any questions for me? Um... I don't think anything right now. If I think of anything, I'll let you know. Yeah, cool, cool. Are you currently employed anywhere else? No. Okay, cool. Cool. And, um, yeah, we'll talk more. Okay. We'll talk more, especially okay. off camera. Yeah. But, but I just wanted people to kind of hear more or less the things that I look for. Yeah. When, when I pick someone up. Okay. Anyways, guys, so uh, you guys met Nathan. You know, he has done some projects for us. He's shot some weddings. He truly is a very talented videography, especially at his age. I mean, we're impressed with him, which is why he uh, he's, has gotten projects from us. But it's time to take that skill and develop it and take it to the next level. So hopefully you guys kind of see a little, about, uh, little background on how I do my interviews and let people know what I expect. Uh, talk to you later. Peace.